Hi, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. My name's Andrea, and my name is Gabe, and I'm excited about the lesson today because it stars Andrea. Well, it's my turn to be on the go. I'm going to learn about a very interesting instrument, and I hope you enjoy learning about it too. Well, it is exciting to learn about the erhu. All right, friends, let's get started by looking at keywords to help you understand our on-the-go. The first keyword is instrument. Instrument. Steve plays the guitar. Can you play an instrument? Violin. Violin. Marcy is learning to play the violin. It's a beautiful instrument. Expert. Expert. Phil knows a lot about cars. He is an expert. Musician. Musician. Angus is a musician. He sings and plays many instruments well. Bow. Bow. You need a bow to play the violin. That's a good idea, and it's also a good idea to review these words. Let's look at them one more time. Instrument. Instrument. Violin. Violin. Expert. Expert. Musician. Musician. And bow. Bow. Well done, everyone. Now let's go over and see Eddie. I want to be a musician. Well, Eddie. Eddie, you just have to keep practicing. That's、uh, right. Your guitar. Do I? Do I need an instrument? Yes, you need an instrument. <laughs> to be a musician, you need an instrument, or you need to be able to sing. Do you、uh, like to sing? Okay, all right. I can work on that. All okay. right, all right. So you want the mission? Maybe yes, we do. Maybe you can sing the mission. Okay,、yeah. here's the mission. And no, I will not sing it. The mission is: What is the erhu also called? What is the erhu also called? We'll find out. Let's go on the go. Friends, I'm just playing my guitar. I still need to practice. You know, I enjoy learning about instruments. Today, I'm going to learn about a new instrument. It's called an arhu. Oh, well, this is a different instrument. Do you want to learn more about it? Join me today on the go. The arhu is a thousand-year-old instrument that comes from the north of China. It is also called the Chinese violin. The arhu is a string instrument. This is arhu. Thank you. Today, Mr. Li is going to teach us how to make an arhu and how to play it. The arhu is a unique instrument. It only has two strings and a little box. People have been playing this instrument for many years. It can be a solo instrument or part of an ensemble. Yes, the arhu. You know, there is a lot to learn about this unique instrument. And I'm sure you learned a lot about this instrument. It's fun watching you learn. Well, yeah, it took me a while, but I'm getting there. Well, friends, let's begin by looking at our keyword. It is instrument. Instrument. An instrument is something that you play. You use an instrument to make music. And you know what? There is one instrument that I like to play. That is the drums. 
The drums are a musical instrument. Andrea, do you like to play any musical instruments? Well, I like to play the guitar. You saw me playing my guitar on the go, but I also like to learn about different instruments. Okay, good. So yes, you can learn different instruments, and if you know an instrument, you should practice on that instrument. Our next keyword is an instrument. It is the violin. Say that with me. Violin. A violin is a string instrument. That means it is made out of wood and strings. To play a violin, you put the instrument on your shoulder, and then you use your hand to move the bow. So that is a violin, and sometimes you can go and see many people playing the violin and other instruments. And they are making a beautiful sound. And you know what? The arhu is kind of like a Chinese violin. Well, Gabe, that is actually the answer to today's mission. The question is: What is the arhu also called? What is the arhu also called? It's called a Chinese violin. All right. Well, let's keep learning more about this on the go. The two main things that are used to make an arhu are wood and snakeskin. Snakeskin? Yes, 真的蛮蛇皮，而且是合法的哦。The snakeskin has a license. It is legal. Yes, it's true. Mr. Lee told me they use snakeskin to cover the sound box. Now, Mr. Lee has also tried other kinds of skin, even fish skin. But the snake skin gives the arhu the best sound. Let's make an arhu. First, you cut the snake skin to the right size. Then you sew a thick rope around it and put it in the water for 12 hours. This helps stretch the snake skin. Then you put it on the sound box to get the right shape. Now Mr. Lee will glue the snakeskin to the sound box. The way you glue the snakeskin to the sound box affects the sound of the arhu. This is what it will look like when Mr. Lee is finished. Now let's keep putting our arhu together. Making an arhu takes a lot of time, and you have to be careful. Each step is important. Mr. Lee is an expert. He's made over five thousand arhus. 好，完成了。Now we are finished. Let's do a sound test. <laughs> hey Andrea, you know what I especially liked about this instrument is that it's made with snake skin. Gabe, I didn't like that part. The snake skin was kind of scary. It is kind of scary, but you need to have snake skin to make an arhu. Very interesting. Well, hey. I hear you got to work with an expert. That's true. I talked to Mr. Lee. He is an expert. He's made thousands of arhus. Well, let's look at this word. The word is expert. Say it again with me. Expert. An expert is someone who knows a lot about something and who can do a lot with something. So, if you are an expert with cars, then you know a lot about cars. You can also talk to an expert on shopping. A shopping expert can tell you where to go to find the best deals. Or if you want to go travel somewhere else, then an expert will tell you what kind of tickets to buy and how to get the cheapest tickets.
They are experts. And Mr. Lee is an Arhu expert. He knows a lot about this instrument. He not only knows a lot, but he also cares a lot about it. That's right. And he says that each step is very important when you're making an instrument. Well, each step is also very important when you're learning English. So let's go on to the next step right now. Beautiful. Now, to play the arhu the best way, the musician must sit down with the instrument on her leg. Then you hold the bow like you are holding a pair of chopsticks. 没错，就像握着筷子一样。Now we'll show you two ways to move the bow. La gong, tui gong. The arhu has only two strings, but a good musician can play them in different ways, from slow and sad to fast or classical. Now, friends, let's listen to an ensemble. Many musicians playing together. I wonder if I can play as well as they can. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Well, I still have a lot to learn. Playing the arhu takes a lot of practice, like any other instrument. I'll keep practicing on my way home. Hey, guys! Well, thank all of you for joining me today. I hope you learned something new about the arhu. We'll see you next time on the go. It's true, I still have a lot to learn. Well, friends, we can use this phrase. I still have a lot to learn when you still need to practice and when you still are not finished learning. Exactly. So if you are learning something or studying about something, this is a great phrase to use. If you want to tell somebody else you don't know everything, you can tell them, "I still have a lot to learn." And I still have a lot to learn about the arhu, and we still have a lot to learn about this on the go. You know, I'm glad that I could meet a real musician. She taught me how to play the arhu. Let's learn that key word, musician. Musician. A musician is someone who plays music very well. A musician can play music, but also write music and sing. That's right. So a musician understands everything about music, and if you can sing, then you might be a musician. If you can sing well. And understand music. Well, a musician needs an arhu and a bow to play this instrument. Our keyword is bow. Bow. A bow is a long, curved piece of wood that has string attached. You use a bow to play an instrument. And you use a bow to play certain instruments, like the arhu. Or if you are playing a violin, then you also need a bow to make the beautiful music. Well, Gabe, it looks like you know how to play a bow. Oh, I can use a bow. I guess I can pretend that I can play. Okay, looks good. Well, Gabe will keep playing, and we will keep learning. So let's go. Calendar phrase. Gabe, Gabe, guess what? 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 I downloaded some songs for you. 
You did not. I did. You did just for me? I did. I learned how to download music and I downloaded some songs Andrea, for you. Andrea, you are too sweet and too cool. Ah, well, thank you very much. But it's also our calendar phrase. I downloaded some songs for you. I downloaded some songs for you. When you get some music from the internet for someone, you can use our calendar phrase. And right now we have a calendar phrase skit for you. Just for you. I downloaded some songs for you. I downloaded some songs for you. Hey Marie, I downloaded some songs for you. Really? Thanks, Dan. Yes, I know you'd like pop music, so I downloaded some songs for you. Wow, that's really sweet. Guess what? What? I downloaded some songs for you too. Really? Thanks. Do you want to listen to these songs together? Sure. I downloaded some songs for you. I downloaded some songs for you. All right, friends, before we go, let's practice with our question of the day. Okay, here it is. Have you ever played an Erhu? Would you like to try? Have you ever played an Arhu? Would you like to try? You know, Andrea, I would like to try playing the Arhu, but it does look like it's kind of hard to learn how to play. Is that right? Well, yes, Gabe. It is very difficult to play and it takes a lot of practice. So I'm going to practice and then maybe I can teach you. Hey, sounds good. I would like to learn. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us on the go today here on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and on the radio. Where learning English can be fun. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.